All right, what is up, YouTube? It's Mrs. Zuni back out with another video. Let's get straight into it. So Genius is the next token I'm going to be talking about, and this could potentially be the next Hex or Hex Killer. So stay tuned. I'm going to get straight into the basics, a little bit more advanced, but the general overall feel of this token. Um, and yeah, let's get straight into it. So basically what, what Genius, uh, Genius is, they want to basically provide passive income, generate passive income for the user. There's a few ways um, that they aim to do this. They do say they're the uh, first hyper yield AI driven blockchain certificate of deposit then tends to appreciate. So obviously in this, they want to help um, everyone gain money. Um, they do have uh, chains they have uni, the uni or the Ethereum pancake BNB. Uh, they have um, AVAX and Matic as their chains. Also, too, they will have uh, the the uh, Pulse Net as well. But let me actually get into the white paper real quick. So there's three types of, of basically ways to earn income. There's the advanced mining. So basically, just like Hex, instead of mining, I mean, it is mining, uh, but they call it, um, you know, mining, I guess. In Hex, you just call it staking. Either way, it's similar to what you do. You stake it. If I go over to the Genesis uh, mining, you can create your own miner. Um, there's two, like I said, basic and advanced. You can put how many, how much ETH you want and put in here. Um, it'll, it'll generate you the Jenny or the um, Genesis token, and then you can for the for the basic, you can have it very very flexible. You can put it in a one day, two days, three days, you know, a year if you want to, um, or in this case, if you want to earn the extra income or um, a little bit better yield. You want to go over to the advanced, which is at least 90 days that you have to do um, for the stake or the miner. And um, <clears throat> that's basically what you need to do is the first. Sorry, that's my dog. Uh, for the first uh, advanced stake is the 90 days for the first part. And if you want to do, you know, I think the max is 4,444 days. So that is something to think about if you're trying to do that. Honestly, I wouldn't ever stake my anything that long i would not recommend that i'm not recommending i'm not a personal i can't obviously uh, give you guys personal advice but don't do that <laughs> um sorry uh so that's basically two uh, ways to earn income from the mining or the staking of genesis the next one you would do sorry my dog is being crazy um <laughs> We got I got a new dog and he's a puppy, so he's <laughs> very needy. Uh, so basically the uh, performance or sorry, the stability is the collateralized mining. Um, this is this is one of the unique features that the um, CEO, Robert, that he, if you, I'm going to link this video. Honestly, you guys got to watch this video because it's very, very uh, crucial and important. I'll leave a timestamp for the liquidity providing or the um, or the collateralized loan. They call it two different things, honestly, in the in the white paper and as well as um, personally just talk about it, I guess. But the stability pool is basically like collateralized or using, you could use ETH, DAI, or, or the uh, native token. And this is the same thing. You have to stake it for at least 90 days. But the cool thing about this is that not only, I'm gonna actually pull up the little paper so you guys can check it out. Um, it's a little bit more visual, a little bit easier to kind of uh, digest. So this is the stability pool. So basically what it is, um, you can use it for a few different types of reasons. So you have the miner and the trader. So when you go over to the actual contract, um, you can buy this either through the Genesis or the Genius uh, website, which is, um, you know, you can just deposit ETH, you can deposit like, one ETH and you'll get, you know, at that many, um, tokens, but you can also go to Uniswap and you can purchase it off the market too, or off the chain, I guess. Um, so what it's, what basically this is, it's a way for you to basically have two different options to basically arbitrage the price. So let's say, I think Robert kind of mentioned it. Let's say, um, to make it very, very simple, Let's say on here, Genesis, 
uh, I'm sorry, how, how do I keep seeing Genesis? Uh, Genius is selling for a dollar, all right? And you go to Uniswap and it's selling for 95 cents. Obviously, <laughs> you're gonna buy on Uniswap, um, but the cool thing is, if it's priced at a dollar, um, you know, like a dollar, right? And you want to re redeem it, you'll get that extra 50 or five cents if you buy it from Uniswap for a dollar. Let's just say fees are really low. Let's just, you know, you have to counter in the fees as well for both, I guess. But let's just let's just make it simple. There's no fees, whatever. The fees are super low. You buy it for 95 cents. You have, you you know, you pocket that five cents into selling all your tokens and you gain basically that 5% arbitrage, right? Um, that's what it's pretty cool when it's talking about the, um, the way that you can use it as a trader. Also too, um, you're not really moving the price if you buy it. Let's say a big whale wants to, you know, he was mentioning to buy like a million or a $5 million worth of, of the native token. He can go in here Go into deposit, obviously. Go and put however many ETH, uh, oops, however many ETH he wants to, you know, add, and he could buy it on. So basically, this will be off the market technically on the open market, and this wouldn't move the price as much. It would, you know, it would basically be accommodated for, uh, you know, you buying it. <laughs> And on the flip side, the same thing we talked about for the traders, if you want to sell like $5 million and, it's, and you're able to, and you put, you know, $5 million, you'll cut out the slippage, which means that you won't basically sell it for, let's say you're selling, you sell it for a dollar, but obviously if you're selling a million, it's probably gonna go down. You're gonna sell some for a dollar, some for 95, some for 90, some for whatever price it is gonna go down to. So it's gonna stop the slippage, stop the price. You're gonna sell it for a five, uh, you know, a thousand dollars or a uh, dollar. And if you sell a million, you'll get a million dollars, basically, right? So that's the idea for the stability pool or the collateralized or uh, collateralized um, staking, as well as it being backed by, you know, um, a stable token like uh, in this case, Dai. Or Ethereum, so each um, each native token is going to be backed by something, so it's going to be collateralized. That's why they're saying um, that this is kind of like, you know, a cool feature. One of the special features when uh, Robert's talking about the function of the stability pool, so you can have some arbitrage opportunities. I've already done it on PancakeSwap. Honestly, uh, I already was able to buy on. Um, on pancake swap and I was able to get a better deal on pancake swap and obviously you can go over to this and kind of swap it um, I'm just kind of you know still kind of playing with it because this is really relatively new 17 days in um, I wanted to make a video when I got in on it but the only thing I was thinking was it's pumping uh, and plus the holiday time I really didn't want to make a video specifically on this new um, protocol just because I wasn't too sure um, it was very very technical like I didn't know <laughs> like if you go through the white paper it is massive like there's so much to talk about um, I didn't really want to throw everything at you guys but I wanted to get over the, the basic concept of the platform and you can kind of go go through all of this and see what um, you know, what it is because I just cracked the surface level for you guys. Um, but I really wanted to show you guys the stability pool and how this can make uh, you a lot of money. Um, the only thing I could, I could think of when I talk about the, um, stability pool or the collateralized, uh, pool, whatever you guys want to call it. The only thing I could think of is the, when I watched the interview and I kind of read up on, on the white paper, is that that doesn't move so big whale can't really move the price so i'm thinking if he can move the price so how does it appreciate um you know if if people are doing this back and forth uh you wouldn't you want so like richard hart he made it to where the liquidity was low and it was very easy to pump the price 
tech, ba basically, right? So Richard Hart kind of made it with the hex. It was easy to move the chart, which, you know, helped it get its, you know, crazy X's. And I feel like on some of these projects, um, not saying it's a negative, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kind of thinking about it. If they have a high liquidity, if they have, you know, whatever, 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 it's going to be harder to move the price on this. And that doesn't mean it's going to take. So when you have a high liquidity, it does mean that it's hard. It, you, it takes more cash to move the price, but it doesn't mean that, um, you know, it can withstand a lot. It just means like the price. So let's say you buy for a million dollars and you pump up the price like crazy. But uh, if there's a low liquidity and if it's a high liquidity, it's going to pump up the price a little bit, but not that much. But when you sell it, obviously it's going to, you know, a million dollars and a low liquidity is going to crazy hit it. Or you won't be able to, honestly, you won't be, if it's a really, really low, you're not able to sell as much as you want. All you're going to do is wait. And then if you have a high liquidity, obviously you can sell as much as you want. Let's, you know, if it's a $5 million liquidity and you have a million dollars to sell, obviously one fifth of the liquidity is gone, but you're able to sell. So the only thing I'm thinking about for this is we'll see. They're going to have NFTs. Uh, they did have a, they, like they, another thing why I didn't really make the video. They do have a lot of, um, they had a lot of stakers or, investors already put a lot of money into the pre-sale and the minting of their tokens um that's why honestly you we did have uh, a bit of a sell-off on the token if you type in um you can see there's on you know obviously pancake but uh ethereum is pretty low today it you know if the price if you check out the prices i mean not, not ethereum um you can check out how, which is the lowest price. Obviously, I think it's Avalanche. Uh, sorry, my dog hit it again. And you can kind of check out the price here and you kind of get your, kind of make your opinion on what you think if you want to enter in these ones here. But um, yeah, so I, I, I've been using Bi um, Binance and kind of setting my markers. This is when I've been, when I was going to make the video, but I was like, it's kind of high. <laughs> And I was like, I'm, I don't know, uh, like it pumped up. I think that day was like, it was like a three or four X or something like that. Some crazy I think I from here to there. And I was like, um, now I'm not going to do the video yet. Cause you know, I didn't really want anybody to get in here. Um, and I bought a little bit more over here. Obviously when I got in was over here. I wish I got in there. That would have been like a 19 X or something like that from the top to the bottom within a couple of days or a week or so. Um, and on this one, the liquidity is low. So that's what I'm talking about. Like the liquidity is pretty low on these. Um, obviously the, the, the highest one I think is going to be the Ethereum. So I don't know if that's going to be where Ethereum is going <clears> to, <throat> is going to outshine the rest. Kind of like if you think about Zen, but yeah, guys, I don't want to make this video too, too long, but I basically want to just kind of throw out my ramble here about Genesis. Uh, sorry, genius. I don't know why I keep saying Genesis. Uh, genius, but like I said, the miner, you can create different miners to earn passive income. So this is going to be a, a you know probably a long-term play, probably like Hex. So no no rush getting into these this one right here. I think, honestly, it's going to have its little um, ups and downs. Obviously, gonna be, if it's kind of deemed the, the ETH killer, I mean the Hex killer, there's going to be some backlash or some type of, you know, issue and you never know the um it could be a rug who really knows uh it seems like they they took their time uh, well they, i think they had it since the beginning of the year they've been trying to launch i think they're trying to, they try to launch uh in september but they didn't so like i said this is going to be another DeFi gamble play but it could possibly have some um serious uh, gains I think some of my strategy, what well, my strategy is, is keeping, um, you know, majority of it liquid, having some mining um, in the advanced 90 day, 100 day, and then getting into just checking out the stability pool, kind of seeing what, how, what I think about it. But like I said, it's going to be those um, arbitrage uh, opportunities too. So 
like I said, for example, you could buy it off PancakeSwap. You can have it back over here and then you'll have more obviously and you can stake more. So it's kind of like a little bit of, you know, arbitrage if you want more uh, money at the time, if you're a trader or you want more tokens. So it's either way, depends on how you want to do it. Obviously, for example, you can, you know, <laughs> like a little cycle, you can buy it off, let's say pancake swap, and you can buy it for less, come over here, sell it for more, take it back out, and buy it on pancake swap again and kind of recycle. And then if it reverses, you could do the same thing. You could, you could buy it off of Genius here, sell it on pancake swap, and then just repeat the process depending on where it's at. So I think that's pretty cool how they're doing that. Obviously, there's a lot more to this, so I highly encourage you guys to read the white paper. Also, to watch the interview, this one is pretty detailed. I would say the hour 42 is where he talks about the whole stability pool. I think he stops talking about it, like I think at towards the end. So he almost spends over almost like 30 minutes to 45 minutes to an hour talking about the stability pool. And this is their founder, uh, Robert. And uh, yeah, I highly encourage you. Like I said, do your research, check it out. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.